So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'd like to grasp this chance to thank uh, AECE for organizing such uh, great uh, conference. And, uh, and I see the di dialogue this today is uh, very great. And I also want to thank all the people in this room. You come here, you, you make a great effort, and you come here because you care education, you care the quality of the education, and you care fearless, and you care the future of this country. So today I will share with you uh, the story in Montgomery County, Maryland. It's uh, a personal story, and it's also, it's also the experience for a group of people in Montgomery County. So can we go to the next slide? Okay, okay thank you. So and the story, the struggling starts with uh, this newspaper. So a Washington Post uh, in March 2016 published one paper saying that uh, Montgomery County Public School will carry out uh, one reform and the, the, the target of this reform is to fix some so-called problem. The problem is that Asian American makes up 14% 14 14 of the students, but uh, they made, made up of 40% in the Maglev program. So Maglev program is a gifted and talented program for middle school students. So there's the one report, uh, named the Metis report. Uh, it's uh, it's a study the, this so-called problem and it uh, rec made the recommendation how to fix this problem. So their recommendation 3A says clearly that they are going to introduce some um, protocol and some admission criteria which include the use of non-cognitive criteria and the group-specific norm that benchmarks students' performance against the school peers with a comparable background. So when many um, parents read this news, they, they sense that there's something wrong because uh, uh, the Magnet program is supposed to pick the best uh, students, uh, the, the highly gifted and talented students. But if we use uh, long cognitive criteria, so that's not for best students. At the same time, we believe that uh, the education right should be uh, equally accessible for every individual. So how can we set different uh, uh, benchmark for different uh, group? That, that does not make sense. So uh, the Montgomery County Public School held three hearing to get feedback from the parents about their uh, future reform. And this is what they get. This is what they got. So hundreds of parents flood in the uh, hearing and uh, tell the um, Montgomery County Public School, we don't want this at all. So some people hold held the sign saying low 3A, uh, one standard for all. So obviously, the public school system observed a very strong opposition uh, in these three hearings. However, they didn't tell us what they plan to do. They didn't say that they are, they are going to give up their plan and, or improve their plan. They didn't say anything clearly. But uh, two years later, we observed the profound difference. So here we can see the, uh, the admitted students in these two magnet programs, uh, their racial makeup. So um, there are two magnet programs in Montgomery County uh, Public School. Uh, one is uh, Tacoma Park, which focuses on STEM. Uh, another is uh, Eastern, which focuses on humanity. We can say that uh, uh, in 2017, the percentage of Asian students uh, dropped by more than 20% compared with uh, 2016. And in 2018, it dropped uh, 
by another 20%. That's a very, very, very huge difference. But what does this huge difference mean for parents? So I have a very personal um, experience. So my first child, supposedly she should uh, be admitted by the uh, Magnet program, and uh, she prefer uh, Tacoma Park, uh, but uh, she was uh, rejected by both Magnet program, and uh, I appealed for her. Uh, the first appeal um, was rejected. Uh, both Magnet program rejected the first appeal, and uh, then I appealed the second time, third time, and fourth time, and fifth time. So at last, my my first child got into the Eastern program. In fact, she prefer Eastern, and she has a very, very strong background in logic and math, so she prefers science. Um, so I wasted more than 100 hours in appealing, and it's very, very sad because my child asked me, why this happened to me? Was I have run skin color. Was it because my wrong skin color? I said, no. Uh, it's not because uh, you have wrong skin color. You should uh, be proud of yourself. Uh, it's because some people, they, they are wrong. They made some mistake. So this shouldn't happen. In 2019, the same problem happened. So it's my second child. And again, I appealed for my second child. And at last, she was admitted. So, I mean, after the first appeal, my child was admitted by Tacoma Park. That's, that's very ridiculous. Because my second child prefer Eastern. She did very well in writing and, uh, um, writing and reading comprehension, but uh, she's not uh, as good in math and uh, logic. So, the reform is a failure for, from my own experience, and it filled many more Asian American parents because and from the number top, you, you know that. And some, some parents, they appeared just like what I did, but they didn't get success. So many parents ask why, uh, how this can happen. So we ask the public school for explanation. So in the meeting um, among the parents and the public school, we ask what's the criteria for admission, uh, what's the process for admission and appeal, and we were told that uh, there's no criteria. There's no criteria, but uh, there must be some criteria in their mind because uh, they have strong incentive to fix the so-called problem and they also um, planned to make some change. And we already observed the outcome of such change. It's not a coincidence, it's not an accident. So everything is as planned. So when I talked to some teachers about the reform, they told me that before they made the change, they held, the public school held a meeting among the teachers and telling them that there will be a change in the magnet program admission. The reason for the change is that there's a racial disparity in the magnet program. And uh, the one big change is that uh, from then on, the teacher's input will not be considered in the process. That means they have all these factors and make me believe that they are intentionally discriminating against uh, Asian American. But uh, that's not the problem, that's not the only problem for Asian American because uh, some white kids, they, they also got discrimination because they live close to Asian kids. That's very sad because uh, supposedly the mag magnet program is uh, for gifted and talented students, no matter what their skin color is. So, with uh, all this belief uh, in my mind, uh, and also um, my friends share sim similar opinion, 
with me. So we filed a complaint to uh, Department of Education Office for Civil Rights. And um, we felt that uh, in April 2018, um, at that time, we didn't know many data, and later we found these data, and it's uh, very, very astonishing. For example, the public school is saying that uh, there's a racial disparity in the, uh, among the students. I will finish soon. Um, but uh, look at this. So this is the racial makeup of the uh, Magnet Program Selection Committee. So for Eastern Middle School, there is a one Asian, only one Asian uh, staff in the committee. And in Tacoma Park, there's zero Asian. So if they really care uh, such kind of uh, parity, so why do they hold double standard? But in fact, I don't care about the racial makeup. I think merit is the most important thing. I just want to use the, this example to show that they hold double standard, and that's really uh, disgusting. So here, we got the response from the Office for Civil Rights. So here, I would like to thank them that they, they tell us that they will investigate this issue um, so that's not uh, enough because the investigation is going on, but uh, we couldn't uh, get the public school to uh, have a conversation with us to fix the problem. So at the same time, we are asking for um, legal support. So I wrote emails to more than 20 attorneys, and uh, none of them accept our case. Uh, even when I didn't mention that uh, we want free service. Um, but uh, here I would, like, I would like to thank Pacific Legal Foundation. They consider our case for free, although they didn't decide yet, but um, uh, I'm counting on them. <laughs> so Washington Post published a new uh, report about uh, the outcome of the reform. And uh, here I will show something worse for Montgomery County Public School. You cannot believe that this happened in 21st century in the most modern country in this world. It's the United States. Let's see what they plan to do. They divide the students into six groups. The first group is uh, uh, people with uh, low income and uh, they are African American. The second group is that people with uh, low income, they are Hispanic. The third group is uh, people have low income, but they are not uh, African American or they are not uh, Hispanic. The fourth group is that uh, people with uh, okay income and they are African American. And the fifth group is uh, people with okay uh, income, they are Hispanic, and the sixth group is uh, people with okay income. They are not Hispanic, they are not African American. What is uh, racist? They are. They, so welcome to Montgomery County to observe what's happening. So they call this equality accountability model. And the, the logic behind is that the some specific groups, they don't get equal access to the resources because the policy limits their access. But if we look at the racial makeup of the Montgomery County Public School leadership, we can see clearly so-called limited access, so-called disparity shouldn't happen because the majority of the Montgomery County Public School um, leadership are white, black, or Hispanic. Their, their, repre their representation is uh, quite good compared with their, their racial, the racial makeup of the whole um, population. But in fact, I don't care racial makeup. I, again, I want to make sure that I don't care about race. I only care about uh, quality. 
But if they really care about the racial makeup, how could they let such kind of things happen? So, the, so here I, I would like to uh, introduce some of my members. Uh, so who we are. So we are parents who really care the fairness in education. Uh, we support uh, uh, Ms. Fisher in the case uh, Fisher over uh, University of Texas. So in 2015, um, my friends and me, we went to the Supreme Court and uh, support uh, Ms. Fisher. And uh, in 2018, we went to, some of my friends went to Boston to show support to students for fair admission. And so I thank AACE not only for organizing, organizing, organizing such a conference, but also for inspired us to fight for fearless. Thank you very much.